Hello everybody, welcome to the final round of the group stage in CNA. We've got Shawnee's match versus Crystal Hunter. Uh, Crystal Hunter is the captain of Europe who are already out and have got absolutely nothing to play for, but will still give their all. <laughs> and Shawnee pretty much has to win to keep England alive, really. This is very, very tenuous for England now, so it's very exciting. In the booth with me is Fimea and Calcium Kaz. Hello! Hello, everybody. Here we are. This is going to be a very, very good game with two of the top coaches of the respective races. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is going to be amazing. Yeah, for sure. Um, Chunter has won CCL with Skaven and plays them a lot. And Shawnee has got a completely ridiculous record with Undead. So yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Yeah, he lost like five games in. More than a hundred games. Yeah, that was... Yes. Yeah, his record is is bonkers. Now Chanter taking this seriously because he's a he's a gutter runner. Have proper skills this time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chunter is is Europe United. That's uh, that's uh, team. Yeah, Sean he's won CCL with Chaos. Uh, but you know his record with 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 undead is, is that's good. Ko. So that Ko um, achieves more than Jim did in his entire last game. <laughs> yeah, just I was just thinking that. <laughs> that was exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking he's got a Sony pull a Jimmy here. <laughs> you, know, you think it? I'll say anything. it. I'm not going to say anything because this goes to YouTube, you know, and people uh, watch the games in different order. <laughs> <laughs> the problem here is there being so much space between, like, you know, <clears throat> Chunter might yeah, try yeah. and split the team here. I think that's a given, isn't it? Chunter's going to try and put up a, a screen oh, he's gonna between put some the two banks. It's Close not easy. Ball. I think he's going to think about it. I'm a little bit surprised Shawnee pushed the Lime Rat in that direction. Because yeah. it does enable him to get around. Yeah. I'm sure Shawnee had a reason to do it. Um, I don't think he does anything on the Blood Bowl pitch without good reason. But I'm a little bit surprised he didn't push him back into the bank of players. Yeah. Interesting. Oh my god, J5. <laughs> oh That's very accurate by Johnny 5 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, there you go, that's exactly where he's put. Maybe he wanted maybe he wanted to sucker him in. Maybe he thought that was a trap. Yeah. It hurts their feelings, yes. Bizarrely, but it does. <laughs> like, who cares what patch of earth you were born in or live in? <laughs> well, matter, this is a nice competition, so... But it's been very loose. <laughs> yeah, it has been. In the term of who belongs to which country. <laughs> But yeah, patriotism is a bit fucking pointless, isn't it, at the end of the day? Right. Uh, but, you know, having said that, come on, England! <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, say the man which named his team after the players of the Euro 96. <laughs> So he didn't put much of a threat in, and in fact, that makes it zero threat. No tack There's no tackle mighty blows there on uh, on Shawnee's team, so he can't punish the gutters as much as he would like. He might three dice them with mighty blow. Yeah, Shawnee's just going to be happy to cage up in the middle of the pitch right now, isn't he? 
Yeah. Deal, deal, probably he's going to deal with this line rat now, and he's just going to mighty blow that line rat. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't hate it, you know, um, but we all know that Chunter's not adverse to the odd hero play. Yeah. Oof, that could have been a gutter, that could have been a gutter, Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, finger bus. Yeah, interesting. This is this thing out of the. So, the Jim, would you have um, would you have set up? Would you have tried to pow a gutter runner there, or would you have done what Shawnee did? I think Shaw it was probably the better option what Shawnee did, but you know, there's something to be said for fishing for pals. Yeah, I think you could three dice this this defenseless gutter. I think three dicing a defenseless gutter. Well, okay, not complete defenseless because you have dodge, but I wouldn't have, I would think I would have maybe greeted the hit on him and then just had this lineman in the backfield. The lineman in the backfield isn't that much of a danger, is it? Um, no. Like the gutter in the, in the backfield is a danger, obviously, because if you can get the pop the ball, you can just instantly score now. But um, I guess he wanted to cage here, so that's why he did Yeah. Some. And this is really nice. He's lot. He's pretty much locked that guard storm vermin hasn't he yep. which is really cool yes and now i mean fishing for pause turn two a little early maybe turn four yeah 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 it's made two kills and a stun it's like it's already better than my game went <laughs> <laughs> And I was only joking, any offence caused was unintended and is unreservedly <laughs> apologised for. <laughs> so he just chips the white here, I guess? Stand up the yeah. guard vermin? Yeah, and claw. mighty, mighty, mighty claw the white? Yeah. And then just keep position, uh, keep shape? Yeah. <laughs> I was joking when I apologised. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god, Steve, 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 we can't we can't mention them. Don't mention the war. And don't mention you Steve. Oh it comes, it comes again, it comes again, the comments from a... Yeah, even I don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I like being unbanned. <laughs> I'm from Spain, so I can go gladly there uh, anytime I want. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's still, probably they'd probably still just take the opportunity of you uh, you saying something on my channel, even though you're Spanish, to just ban me. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be so yeah, right. Don't worry. That's, that's what uh, calcium is here for. Right? Exactly, yeah, right? Cal calcium was the one banned for discovering a cheating ring, for fuck's sake. So, yeah. The benefit of on and any other admins that are watching, I have nothing but love and respect for my Canish, uh, my Spanish blood bowl <laughs> comrades. <laughs> yeah. um, well done. Well done, Jeff. It's, it, really it's, good, it's good for the history books, isn't it? It's good for the history books. Yes, and if it was, uh, would have been the other way around, I can guarantee you that the Spanish uh, coaches will never, absolutely never, <laughs> drop the subject. They will still will making jokes and comments and all that until the end. Yeah, yep. yep. I would too, of course, whether whether they were Spanish, French, German. Yes. Just, you know, obviously English people wouldn't do it, but, you know. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It was a joke. Any offence cause was unintended and is unreservedly apologised. <laughs> <laughs> What's the exact back story from Parper Chess uh, passing that every five minutes? I think he, I think he offended Glorious. somebody. So since no, then I he won't give doing in that. All until right. I'm victorious. <laughs> And I will defend. I don't know who it was, I will defend. I, think was... <laughs> I thought the good way was when Elliot was playing Andrew in Christmas. Oh dear. Hey, Dev. Oh, shut up, you. Haven't, haven't you got a 50 pence piece to look for, eh, Dev? Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Yemen. Dan. It, it, it says more about you than me, though, seeing as you were the one who subbed with a racist comment. But... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I finally found someone I can get behind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, though, Mr. Yemen Dev. Glory. Oh, dude, just a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> no offense. Oh, dear. Like they do on Top Gear. There's a lot of removals here from Sean. He's good at this game, isn't he? Wish I could do this. <coughs> yeah, I didn't. I, did, I don't think I made a block at Mighty Blow, did I? Hardly. And a nice there you go, another removal. Bosh. So, that was ballsy, wasn't it? That was a. Mm -hmm. uh, he rolled GFI into a foul, which could have got him sent off, which would have left his ball carrier a bit high and dry. It would, um, yeah. Very scary against Chunter, particularly. Yeah, so... Shawnee, you know, bit of British steel. Mm. Yeah, fair. Well, maybe I should have just pit on the... Maybe I should have blitzed on the LOS with a ball. And I probably shouldn't have let him get blitzed. But again, I thought it was, it was going to give me space. No chance to get away from the team Who knows? Oh, look at this. Roger right in the mix. It's a nice spot to have the Roger. Mm. So I've been known to place the odd bet in my life, and I'm going to put a five down. That Roger gets twatted next turn. Oh, yes, yes. And well, step on. <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't he? He's probably the fact that he's coming with a rogue means he's probably going to like assault the cage a little bit now, so that you you you're torn between dealing with the threat on the ball and hit, twatting this ogre. So there you go, straight away he's tagged that 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 cool. Um, uh, why is Quint one of the best characters in movie history? Basically because of his sea shanty. And I know what you're doing, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, Chunders used to playing CCL, where the average player is absolutely terrible. So, <laughs> way, <laughs> way. So that's looked pretty good actually. But I mean, Chun, yeah, uh, PC, not Chun, not Chun, or PC. Sean, can just hit both of these and revolve around, can't he? Yeah, this is an there's there's an easy solution here, isn't there? For, bearing in mind Chunter is four players down on this drive yeah so, exactly yeah. if he'd had four more men this would have been a much harder problem for Sean yeah. to solve yeah there is a lot of Sean has here keep advancing without excessive problems might not even make a second hit right maybe he's just blitz with a rackler and then move around That cage over here. It's funny because obviously Chunt is good, so which, which makes me not really care about the Roger. Whereas um, when someone's terrible, I like I tend to concentrate on their Roger because I think them getting lucky with the Roger is much more likely than them beating me by their you know, Gutters doing rap bullshit, which is maybe wrong, because I've been burned by that against bad players, but like, I think with, with a good player, I feel like you should prioritise the ball a bit more. <laughs> nice stun, and I think he's going for the... Oh, he is oh yeah, it was... Yeah, rogue all day, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Shawnee's refusing to roll less than a nine on every armor roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how you play this game. Yeah, absolutely. He's got to get his one in nine and he, he you know, he kind of needed that stun as well. That gives him a lot of breathing space. Yeah. Just needs to push here, doesn't he, for a great cage. Yep, three dice as well. I mean, the, the, the stuns were massive, weren't they? If, they? if those two weren't stuns. Yeah. He, he gets in much worse position. Tell you what, Shawnee's really good though, isn't he? Oh, there you go, there you go. Another uh, castle. Yeah. Another KU. 
Like he's dicing the pants off Chunter, but he's also doing the right things, isn't he? Like, you know, like moving that guy up and everything. It's like, it is nice, the things he's doing. There's, so there's no route into that ghoul um, outside of what, a five plus? Yeah. Uh, no, six, six plus actually. Um, oh, he could go in through the top on a five plus with the dauntless wrestle, but yeah. um, Shawnee's got heads. guard on three points, so it's going to be a 2D uphill. He has two heads, so it will be a four plus. A four plus, yeah, yeah good shout. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Might go for it. Um, Shawnee's put tackle there, which is really good. He does oh, go for this. it. Roll the skull. He's rolled a skull. Oh, oh, skull. He's cast himself. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, so. Uh, Apple here, has to. Apple, uh, mandatory yeah, yeah. Apple. Injury at 12, see, that's all you're rolling. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, Sony should have uh, considered that uh, that was the play that Chanter would do any day of the week. Yeah, I mean, he he did a lot. He got the guards and and everything. He could surf this. Uh, he could surf this. Got her here. I wonder if he'll try. I guess not, since he just moved that zombie. He hasn't, <laughs> given, he hasn't yeah. given a shit about that. This is risky, though. This mummy, isn't it? I guess he must be fouling this. Uh, this rogue now. Yeah, he's setting him up, isn't he? That's true, Garion. Yep, there's no permanent removals. This is great for the drive, of course, for Shawnee, but not great for the match. Incredible drive equity, but um, not match equity whatsoever. Like if that if that had been a, a like you know if that Kaz had been a miss next game or whatever, and then you know so the apple could have failed. It would have been a much more successful half because obviously this is his best one turn with a two. Oh, it would have been GG, wouldn't it? A failed Apo would have been borderline GG. Um, as it is, Chunt is still in this, but you expect Shawnee to be able to throw up a really, really good one turn defence. Yeah. But he's got he's got Jugs Jugs Roger, so it's Yeah, much, difficult to defend. Yeah, yeah, almost impossible to. So that that increases the fouling equity on the ogre, I guess. Yeah. Like the crane technique, Jim. No can defend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Desron over. Yeah, unbelievably back in blood for this. Wow, he's just following the gutter. Wow. Lovely. Wow. Cost Should him the DP, but it's a good trade. Good trade, very good trade. Mm. Maybe we will go for the Roger, yes. Yeah, I don't like the Roger, honestly, because I think that helps his one turn just a lot, right? He's gone for the Surf as well. Oh. Well, okay, Sean is a genius. He, he just knows he'll score. Oh, he's playing turn 14 already. No, everything already played in his mind. Chess master uh, mind, everything has been played. Okay, I didn't like that. Um, putting your Roger under threat, you'd, you, you're probably better off just keeping him on the deck right now, ain't you? Yeah, but he, I guess he thought he was desperate, but he's not because, you know, as Gary said, these, these guys are all coming back. It was a... Uh... To, to plus to surf the mummy because he has juggernaut. Yeah. So. But the second would have been an uphill, odds. wouldn't it? Oh, I wondered, was that guy there cancelling assists? Oh, so it would have just been a one into a one. Yeah, 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 I guess he's got to do it then. Yeah, it was a 1D into 1D with juggernaut getting rid of a mummy. I think it's the best that the Chanter could aspire for it now. Yeah. I mean, maybe Shawnee fouls him. The rookie, if he doesn't, well, you know, if he uh, if he lays on the floor, but I guess I'll be just laid on the floor first. Dracula <laughs> accent. Dracula. Did you mean me? Oh, he's going for the gutter <laughs> foul. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Dracula. <laughs> this is five men, and I'm a Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Dracula accent. Undead Antonio Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, th I think if it was a vampire with Calcium's accent, that would be a very unsuccessful movie. <laughs> what? Dorset, Dorset vampire. I want to drive my tractor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it would be like it would be like that scene in Blade, you know, with the the nightclub blood, except it'd be a combine <laughs> harvest. <laughs> <laughs> Send off. Ouch. Well, that's the whole uh, bench for Sony, so. Yeah, that, I mean, that's risky against the Claw Mighty. I, I didn't, I, I actually didn't like making the extra foul there with 1 0 sent off already. Bit greedy from Sony there. Um, double O S coming in. It is, yeah, it's 2 0 1 for EU. Yeah, so Which two wins and a loss for, for the EU. I love that foul. Just saying. I hated it. I absolutely <laughs> fucking hated it. <laughs> I mean, no, it, was, it was probably the wrong thing to do, but it's a foul, so you know. Yeah, yeah, of course you loved it. <laughs> 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 yeah, because th this isn't it. Th this can easily be a one turn, and yeah, an easy win for you know, and he can easily start to outbash uh, Shawnee. That was the, that was a risky foul. Didn't didn't very risky foul. I wouldn't have minded fouling the, the Roger for me. I feel like the Royal grads a lot to this one turn chance. This is big, 50, big Royal um, now, isn't it? Yeah, 50% KO's back. That's a good return, isn't it? Chanu will be hoping to get at least one more back after that. He got, he got three out of five, didn't he? It was, was it four or five KO'd? I thought it was five. four. Five. 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 Oh, in that case, that's pretty good then, isn't it? Sorry. He's a bit lucky. Better than average. In this channel means absolutely a spectacular result. EU doesn't need to go for the win, Yak, they're out, so. <laughs> so They want to drag someone with them. <laughs> yes, they don't have to go for the win. England have to go for the win. So you know. England would want to go for the win, so I guess that's it. I guess Shoney thought he just has to get lucky, right? It's still gonna be hard to like win against Chunter. You know, like he might lose, but he's got to try and win. So I guess that's what I guess that's why the uh, that's why the, the foul happened. He's got to get lucky to win. I think he wants to win because he's playing against Chander, and Chander win with him because he's playing versus Sony. Mm -hmm. All this competition is just an excuse for this fight. Oh, of course, of course they want to. Of course they want to win, but I just <laughs> don't think that winning matters that much for them there because they're on so few points. It's really hard for. Really hard for a year. With like they're on like six points or something for the tiebreakers. So it would be incredibly hard for a year to uh, to qualify. <clears throat> Jim, is there an argument for putting the mummies on the LOS here to decrease the odds of repeated two D hits? Repeat three D hits, yeah, because it it, st it stops the yeah. it stops the claw mighty blitz, and it also you know would make him rely on a loner to hit them. Oh, and touchback oh is brutal. God. That is brutal. Yeah, I. Do you know what? I. I think I would have pumped the mummies on the LOS here. Yeah, maybe. But then, of course, if you lose the mummy to the Claw Mighty or the Rogue Mighty Blow, you feel really bad as well, don't you? But then, if you if Chunter scores here, he's basically won. Oh. Oh, money nine. Oh baby, well reroll's gone. That's good. But yeah, that was the thing it was too easy, wasn't it? If, but then yeah. I guess that that board then yeah. would have been a push if he'd used the roll. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, this this would be end of drive, wouldn't it? Uh, well, uh, re-roll, he would have rolled a, possibly a free, so he might have failed the loner re-roll. He might have wild animal. It would have been a push, wouldn't it, from Juggernaut, that's the thing. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, true that, yeah. Because this is two heads, isn't it? So it's a bunch of two pluses. <laughs> um... <laughs> hey, Dev, shut up. It wasn't a miracle, no blowback, was it? I mean, it wasn't a miracle at all. Oh, this is lovely from Chunter, isn't it? He gets to push the the roger in and then one in nine and not score. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, this is this is pretty damn good, isn't it? Yeah, it was too easy though. It was, it was yeah. too easy. It was, it yeah. was a tight LOS, wasn't it? It was. I think it was a tight LOS by the looks of yes. this. Yeah. Which is you just can't do, and it it wasn't it wasn't mummies on the LOS, which I would have preferred. I honestly think 
um, Shawnee needed to really take a risk and mummy up the LOS. Yeah, I think that would have helped. I, I, yeah, I, I, chances are Chunter would still be in this position because this is really some well-versed shit that Chunter's doing right now, and it it really is. Oh, so he doesn't. He, he just relies on the two heads. Doesn't risk the uh, roger here. Oh, Easy. Easy. And then <laughs> all the hard work of Shawnee in the first half. Yeah, of course, yeah. But what I'm saying is I just don't think it matters to them that much. I don't think it matters to Team Europe that much. Yes. I, that's what I say. That the, it's not about the national teams anymore. It's just uh, Chander versus Sony. These two like to play each other. Yeah. It was a nice one turn. Yeah. It was, but I think it was a bad setup from Shawnee. I didn't like that they were all together. I would like, you know, two together and one a little bit apart. That just makes it a little bit more difficult from getting the initial push and stuff. Yeah. And I think an all men's with the mummies on the flanks would have been a better option than that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I just maybe it's just a backline. You know, like no, the backline's terrible though, with two heads. It is terrible. Yeah, I would I would have all mensed with the mummies on the sides because let's be fair, Chunt is so good. He's probably got an answer for any setup there. But you know, other than the first roll, the dice were kind as well, weren't they? You know, you, you need dice as well. But yeah, the touchback was incredible. Imagine if the kickoff had yeah. been there, would have, that would have had a, quite a few two pluses. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, nothing, nothing taken enough and away from Chunt is one turn. Yeah, he made all the right moves. Very, very nice one too. Yeah. Very smooth. And now let's hope he just rolls ones for the rest of the match. Yeah. <laughs> let's hope he rolls ones, dies horribly, <laughs> and cries all the way back to Stockholm. <laughs> or wherever it is. I don't know where, you know, just random European he's, city. He's from, he's from the Netherlands. Yeah, he's yep. from... Just picking a random city, would I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. That's probably the most, the most British thing you have ever done in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, J5, for keeping us updated. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of stats that this game needs. You know, a counter of the players. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking there's nowhere near enough stats in this uh, commentary stream. <laughs> so let's uh, throw some stats in there. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, that was, a, that was a bit of a tragic half because actually, Shawnee was the one who took the permanent removals, didn't he? He took the two. He took the two guys actually removed. Only made one, and uh, this other oh, kick guy stayed out. So he, he almost got out bashed that half, <laughs> Shawnee. <laughs> almost out bashed in the end, but I mean, it was good for his drive, of course. Made the drive very secure. See, Shawnee's playing chess, but. Chunter is playing uh, Star Trek 3D Space Chess. <laughs> Shoney probably is playing chess. We should maybe ask him to stop and concentrate <laughs> on the match. <laughs> <laughs> Attention to yeah. the bloody ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he composed a song for his guitar. So, uh, Shoney looks like the kind of guy that has a guitar here. Oh god, I bet he'd be playing Wonderwall. <laughs> so he needs to do that at Gym Con. That'd be amazing. <laughs> There's always some twat who plays Wonderwall, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, just a boring blitz here from the from the white, presumably. <laughs> ah yes, the follow-up, the follow-up 3D, love to see it. Professional. 
pushes again. Brilliant. Well done. Gun to Jimmy. Fantastic school of rolling dice. It's not yeah, recommended. Yeah, if you're going to... Tactical you... control. Going for control <laughs> results here. You're going to set that up? Don't be shit and roll crap. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Foolish, foolish error there. Wonder if I uh, wonder if Chunder will be tempted to stick the roller on the two ghouls there. Yes, after he blitzes them. Yeah, it's a bit wild, isn't it? It's a bit wild, like it's a bit of a wild move to do. But on the other hand, getting the roller on like two ghouls, but you, you, I guess Shawnee would just be able to engineer it anyway, so just call mighty the white. Yeah. yeah, push the mummy off. No, he's yeah going to push his lino out and try to escape that way now. How big are your bollocks, Chunter? Drop that claw mighty in the hole. Go on. <laughs> Indeed, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand why it is here, Dev, that I used to kill everybody on Fumble and now I just can't anymore? Do you know what? Do you understand? I don't get it. Hey, good. Damn, no quads. That was good, though. Already down to two rerolls, shouldn't I? Are you back oh, playing actually. Fumble, Jim? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I, I tried setting up, you know, like how Elliot's got his set up. I, I, I did that for about like half an hour, and then I, once I did it, I was like, I just don't even want to play. So I'll stop the stream. <laughs> I will always love Fumble. It'll always have a special place in my heart with regards to Blood Bowl, but it is a bit painful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's sad because I do love it, and obviously I think that yeah. everyone who does everything there is amazing. Like I think all the things they do is completely amazing. Um, and I would recommend people giving it a go to see if they like it. But um, for me now, unfortunately, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit rough to look at and stuff. So I'm going back a few years, and you'll remember this, Jim. But I desperately miss Ski, uh, Ski Junkies client, where you could have the large pitches and the larger icons. Yeah. That that made it way more tolerable, you know. And I know that Ski Junkies client had its own issues, but anyway, I digress. So go and check Fumble out because it is amazing. Yeah, yeah. People should check it out and see if it's for them for sure. Yeah. Well, oh, Destronov, we'll let you know in a couple of days whether Fumble is indeed a joy compared to Blood Bowl Free, but. The betting circle doesn't look good for the beta right now. <laughs> wow, that's right. Well, that in is, a couple of days, I think we'll get our answer tomorrow, 9, 5 past 9 a.m. Yeah, yeah, 5 past 9. It's only going to take five minutes to just see if it's a horrible <laughs> yeah. it is. Load it, have a look and say, okay, let's try this or not. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's really not going to take long, eh? And, you know, obviously some people will be like, oh, you can't make a snap decision, but you totally fucking can. The last time, it, it was horrible last time. So you're easily going to be able to tell if it's fucking horrible again. And, I don't know, uh, Jim. I think we could have a little bit of faith that they've totally revamped the graphics, <laughs> redeveloped the interface, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it doesn't there make you blind after five minutes of looking at it. There are things that will be better, but as I say, people are gonna, you know, you have a quick look and you say, okay, I'm gonna invest time on this or not. Oh, that's and a chip. Work. Yeah, beautiful. Oh. Beautiful hit. And Apple's already gone, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's it. I think it. I think they have just rolled a turd in glitter. Uh, like, I, I don't think they'll have made the changes that I want to make it not a turd. So, I think it will still be, I think it can't not be a turd. But let's just hope it's a glitter covered turd. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, no, I have my doubts because besides I work, besides working in the video games industry, I've been playing games for a long, long time. And I know the language they use and things like that, and a beta, but only four teams. And it was three teams the last time, only adding one more team is like, that's not. Well, it's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? In like eight months, that doesn't look well. Yeah. And if you, you know, add to the beta, you know, some images. Look, there is uh, these teams are not on the beta, but here are some images of them or something like that, blah blah. <laughs> you know, some 
media or something to add or a gameplay video or something like that. All right, all right. <laughs> but there is nothing of that. It's like, oof, that people must be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I always thought that they changed a lot. Who, like they might have changed a lot. Like I yes, know, I think a lot of things that will be changed. Oh, Ooh. it's got jugs. Oh, jugs are not jugs, yeah. Yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? We all want it to be good. You know, yeah. none of us in this commentary team or none, no one in Blood Bowl wants it to be bad. We want it to be an amazing game that we're going to play for another six years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I exactly. probably one of the most. Uh, Critics there because I don't like you know the fact that it's only gonna be 12 teams and they're gonna release teams you know in order to cash get more cash and after you get the full game two years after launch but that's how many games are now away so it's okay. Yeah. Anyway, they only need to release dwarves. <laughs> You're not gonna be playing anything else, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Dove, dove, all the teams choosing dwarves, eh? Dwarves, Underworld and Snotlings. That's all you're going to be playing. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> For fuck's sake, J5. <laughs> oh my god. I'd like if they had your biometrics bracelet. That's what I want. <laughs> Holy oh shit. Head. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think they'll have probably changed almost nothing. They've, they've got to have changed some things, right? They can't have just changed nothing. But I reckon if you give Bezel an hour, he'd probably do a better job than what they've done in eight months. <laughs> that's what I think. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem, you know, because we haven't seen anything. If there was really good stuff coming up, they, as I say, they will send, you know, on Twitter or whatever images, you know, this is the new user interface, this is the new menu, this is the something like that, but nothing. As far as you know, has been seen. So it's like, yeah. Or in the video games industry, that's that's bad news. Yeah. yeah, it's a good point, Bezel. And 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 they were horrible because they had that stupid look, like they were had flamethrowers over the pitch, like it, they looked terrible. <laughs> and they were happy with that, and they were like, "Oh well, some people liked it, some people didn't." So you know. Doesn't make what? any difference. Oh, the the um the piss flamethrowers, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like they either looked like flames or piss, yeah. didn't they? It was just so bad, so bad, and utterly unnecessary. I wonder how many hours of coding they put into that. Yeah, and they had it, they had it facing the crowd, and some people didn't like that, so they put them on the pitch, and some people didn't like that, so they're like, well, it doesn't matter then. And it's like, no, that's not the right fucking conclusion <laughs> at all. <laughs> Oh my god, Adev, imagine if they did that. <laughs> I mean, I think that would be better, but they won't. I, I, I think they might actually have to use the, the, the right rules this time. Um, there's a chance. There's a chance that they've been told to use the right rules. So there you go. Let's keep the expectations low, but with some degree of hope. Yeah. And... Oh, there you go, we're forgetting Jax and not block. Mm. And I have to say, I've done the work as a translator for uh, CNI in the past. Oh, so, yeah, mm. I know more or less, but not all the work, but I know they actually think about the game, so I think the Blood Bowl development, something has happened there. Something has happened there that they obviously can't tell us. Yeah. But it's so weird, some stuff like you should know about, but who knows? Anyway, don't have any ill towards any member of the uh, team of CNI. They are 100% sure they're trying their best. Yeah. But how many resources they have, time, contracts, and the change of uh, companies, you know, the publisher and all that, or the whatever it is, that's, that's the stuff that you never know anything about, and it's some of the most important things in the game development. Mm. Fucking hell, someone's put their CV into Cyanide, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I already did, I already did in the past. I, I, they did a video game uh, based on Game of Thrones, when Game of Thrones was good, and I uh, translated <laughs> 
and I translated <laughs> most of it. And I did some translations for the Spanish version of Blood Bowl 1. Cool. Oh, uh, what this I wonder isn't... about is there's been sorry, Kaz, I'm just gonna, Sorry, I'm just going to mention Blood Bowl three. Um, there, there has been an FAQ uh, quite recently where it said, you know, the rules were if you rolled a if you saved up your SPP for a stat, you could then decline the, after rolling. You could decline the stat for a double. Um, and then there was an FAQ that said, can you also decline it for a single? And they said yes. And I wonder if that's that's going to be a feature in Blood Bowl three. I guess not. <laughs> Um, Chad is going to score here. He, I think he he's does, forced him, he can't lose. He's forced yeah. to score on himself, didn't he? Yeah. But now, now he can't lose. Oh, whoops. No. What well, he does if he rolls oh. again. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite good. Now he can't lose. So he's got that gun for him. And he might get the win as well. I, I, I didn't hate that score. I mean, I quite like the score from his point of view. Because he was getting in trouble. And I didn't yeah, like that, that Shawnee left that. Oh, like... It was hard for him to stop it, but like once I saw that, I thought, yeah, he's gonna go for that. And it's like it was, you know, I don't think he could have stopped it. He's a fucking gutter room, right? That's, it's, I'm not, I'm not criticizing Shawnee here, but like I didn't like the situation because I thought, well, he just can't stop the score being too easy, and he didn't. There were two routes there, and Shawnee lacked the personnel to close both routes, didn't he? So, yeah. Um. Well, if we if we draw here, then we have to win the last one. So. A draw and a win is good enough for England, but obviously now we can't win this one, and a draw is best case result, isn't it? No, we don't have to win. We we, we can draw here and then and then win the last one. And maybe even if we draw the last one, maybe we'll still qualify. You know, who who knows? J five. No one knows the rules to rugby. It's like cricket. <laughs> no one understands it, but we just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Tactical touchback. <laughs> Interesting. Is there a stripper? Yeah, there is. No. Oh, I don't no. like that. Then the strip. The strippers are out. Yeah, the strippers cast. Shouldn't he have just put it on the blocker so he would have had the show hands as a, as a as a backup if he got sacked? I think I like that. Without sure hands being in play, I would have definitely carried on the uh, non sure hands. Uh, yeah, Wolfbark. Wolfbark is the other one. PC's won. PC won. Tree and I both lost. So if this is a draw, we need we need Wolfbark to win to make it a draw. And if if we draw, we qualify. If we lose, we might qualify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cast PCs match, Deirdre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was only yesterday, <laughs> and we actually commented it. <laughs> Brilliant. And I thought I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, good. God turn from Shawnee? Yeah. God, I wish I could have turns like this. Fucking ever. <laughs> right. Yeah, this is looking really good now, isn't it? Desperation for uh, Chunter. So obviously, he just has to think about. Chunter won't be afraid to do 4 plus dodges with a with a Roger, and he also, like, will be looking for chains to do things, won't he? So, But I'm sure Shawnee will, uh, will, will be aware of all this and play perfectly. Yeah, that's the perfect square to go in because it kills any like you were just saying, Jim. It kills any chain possibilities, doesn't it? Yeah. I'd have probably stayed where he was, but it's fine there as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, it's still. Would you like? It's cyanide, though, eh, Dev. Would you have confidence that we could change things? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like I just wouldn't. 
I can't have any faith in them. They 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 let people they encourage people to play a game that physically hurt people. I mean, hard to have confidence in their abilities, isn't it? As much as I'd love them, I'd love this game to be good. You can't have faith in cyanide. I have lots of hope. I have lots of hope, but um, it's <laughs> it's uh, that's all it is. <laughs> There's no expectation. Not long to ask anyway, is there? Fucking nine nine o'clock tomorrow. Holy shit. I take it you'll be um, opening the beta at nine o'clock tomorrow, Jim. I'm looking forward to your stream. Yeah, if all I'm ten awake. minutes of it. <laughs> if I'm all awake. ten minutes of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all ten minutes. Wow, <laughs> wow, you're taking the over then, Carl. <laughs> 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 Fair enough here, Dad. Oh, dear. Yeah, LVD boomer. It did. It did physically hurt people. It gave pe people got like migraines, and it hurt people's eyes. It like it absolutely. It was ridiculous. The the colours, like n nearly everybody was playing on colourblind settings just to make the game pl like you know playable like. It was ridiculous, like, it, genuinely ridiculous. What other kind of game is like that? Where you, like, first of all, they had about six different colorblind settings anyway, which is weird, right? That that's fucking weird anyway. And then, uh... <laughs> well, yes, they could turn it off. I mean, okay, I'm just gonna ban you because you're obviously brain dead. Sorry, you've you've failed the biometric bracelet test. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You could turn the game off. Yeah, you could. <laughs> oh, what a classic Glorious. argument that is. No, <laughs> Check me, bitch. Until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. Yeah. I will defend. Fucking do one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Constant hangover, thank you very much for staying fantastic. For 11 glorious man. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was worth a resub, wasn't it? <laughs> Zero tolerance. <laughs> it doesn't hurt your eyes if you just turn the game off. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> yeah, I mean, if J5 had said it, I'd have just laughed. <laughs> but <laughs> to be fair. So you've got to earn the right to be a C nut in Team Fantastic, okay? You just can't expect it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I spent years sucking up to Jim to get away with the odd flippant comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what it's like, isn't it? You know, like, you know, you know it's, that's how it works. There is a status, there is a status, there are classes. <laughs> 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 oh, <dear. laughs> yeah, shut up, more damn. <laughs> I mean, yes, true, notorious. Turning turning the game off oh, is going to give God. you a hundred percent success rate of not being hurt by the game. Literally, never turn it on. <laughs> There's lots of games that I own that I've never turned on for fear that they would hurt my eyes. Loads of them. I mean, that's a pretty normal thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> Just Blood Bowl 3, the last beta was literally the gaming equivalent of Day of the Triffids, wasn't it? I was worried that the whole Blood Bowl community would end up blind the following day, you know? It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was It was the only time that something like that happened to me, and I, I was watching a stream, not actually watching the game. Mm. So in a stream that the colors are uh, a little different and the resolution is not the same, still I was like, wow. Yeah. It was it was un it was unreal it was that weird like it's already weird to have so many colorblind options that I'm not saying it was a red flag but it was weird wasn't it it was like why are, why are there so many colorblind options and then pretty much everybody I don't know that anybody was streaming that game not with colorblind settings on like it felt it felt like everyone streaming had colorblind options on because it was like the only way to endure the game it was ridiculous.
like ridiculous and and they were happy with that because they were messaging streamers like saying you know here's a key come and stream the game because it's good and like that's you know that's, that's fucked isn't it <laughs> really <laughs> 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 Spent years chewing on Jimmy Fantastic's big end. Fuck off, eh, Dev? Yeah, good time. It was. It was really weird, wasn't it? Like pretty much everybody it was was using colorblind. You had to. I, I literally couldn't make out what was going on on the pitch. They'd taken Blood Bowl 2's pretty clean, crisp pitch where it's obvious what the players were and thought, right, how can we absolutely fuck this up beyond recognition? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they, they, well, they succeeded in that. Yeah. Do they depend on me? I haven't noticed it in other games before. Like, I've, I've noticed the odd, the odd option. But I've never noticed it like that. Like there were so many, there were so many options. But is that yeah, normal? I, is it? I don't know. I, in uh, FPS uh, games, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and all that, uh, action week games, uh, they tend to have a few uh, colorblind options. For a board game, it's like yeah, hey, lot of them here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair story. Yeah, I guess if it maybe I would have noticed in like if I'd played Call of Duty games and stuff like that, but. Yeah. Still, six has a lot of them. Mm. Usually there is two or three, or you can pick between four colors, and like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, PC. Yeah, that, that is, that's what I was trying to get at, yeah. Like, it's obviously good to have the options and that, right? It's it's a good thing. Like, obviously, I, I don't think about color blindness at all, not being color blind. It's not the sort of thing you think about if you if you're not affected, is it? But um, it was like it did seem weird to have so many. The stall square, yeah, lovely stuff from Sean. Yeah, and we all needed the settings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we fucking all of us needed the settings. Oh dear. Wow, really, red. But I, I, yeah. I can see it more with FPSs, to be fair. Like, I don't play them, but I can understand that more. Yeah, and I know people that play with some color running options on, uh, even there are no color running in FPS. Yeah. It's the contrast of the colors make things uh, easier. Yeah, yeah, I can totally understand that, to be fair. Yeah, I think I'm going to adopt those settings in Blood Bowl 3, you know, in this fast-paced, cutthroat world of Blood Bowl. <laughs> 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 We've only got four minutes, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I couldn't enjoy it. it. It was a like it was a battle against the controls, and to be fair, there was a lot of lag, wasn't there, with like the way they the way they did the serve and stuff of some things people were saying. So like, maybe it'll be a lot less laggy in future. And like, obviously the lagginess didn't help, right? So like, Shawnee hasn't used a reroll this half, by the way, just quietly. So like, Super I can understand it being worse because of that and stuff, and like. Uh, but it just seemed like it was a battle against the controls. Every single turn was just was just a was a chore, like trying to get the game to like work and stuff. And, it's just and we should be able to just pick it up, shouldn't we? Given our experience yeah. with Blood Bowl Two, we should. You know, I can't remember struggling with Blood Bowl Two like this. Yeah, exactly. Well, Blood Bowl Two can have a complicated user interface. Many people at the start learning the game have some struggles, some problems. And like that. that was very common. Friends with that play in Blood Bowl, all of them play video games. But the one in Blood Bowl 3 is like, this is very early stages. Are you? Um, yes, it ever did. Uh, that, that just got laughed at. Of course, the declaring actions didn't get laughed at, but that got laughed at. And the big thing is the pose and turn as well, right? We just can't see which skills, which skills you're using. Do you want to use the skill and all that? Like, all that was ridiculous, wasn't it? 
So not knowing where any blocks are taking place, always you don't know who's blocking who, where the block is, anything about it. But in the middle of that, this completely done game is completely done now. Shawnee gets the draw. Would have won had it not been for the uh, the one turn. Um, good effort by Shawnee. Didn't Hello. get diced. Hello, Trumpner. <laughs> Hi, hi. Don't watch the board. Don't watch the board, Chandler. <laughs> Don't watch the yeah. board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm I joking. Just... We spend most of the time uh, I, I was, talking about um, Rule Ball 3. <laughs> I was annoyed like with the lack of parts that I was having. Like That was so horrible. Like The first, first few turns, like I felt like I didn't get anything on him. And then, you know, like I got banged on heavily, of course. Well, you got 12 combined knockdowns versus 26 board downer skulls and 24 pushes. Nothing to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> you got one armor break. That's, you know, 5% as good as Shawnee. What, nothing to complain about. <laughs> and actually, one more armor break than Jim got in his entire game, just pointing that out. Yeah, how many, how many it powers did I hold there? I hold, I hold a total of 12 powers there out of... Yeah. Yeah, out of dice, 24, yeah. 30, yeah, 40, 49, yeah, 49 other dice. dice. That was horrible, yeah. Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you know the one turn, you got the one turn, very nice one turn. Um, yep. I wonder if Shawnee could have defended it better. Um, I didn't like that all three zombies were tight and maybe could have put, uh, you know, uh, mummies on the LOS to try and yeah. make sure that at least the, uh, the roger had Did to be can... used. Yeah, exactly. You can at least come in with the red ogre, of course. Like if uh, if if that happens, I can always hold a wild animal. And you know, with the with the with the, with the flow of the game that was um, that was happening at that moment, like I felt I felt like I was gonna hold that wild, wild animal roll. Like it felt it felt really bad. <laughs> but um, luckily, I saw the pitch land off or the ball land off the field, and yeah. It, yeah, that um, helped a lot as well, didn't it? Yeah. 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 So like that um, that was a thing. And in the second half, like I was I was looking at. You know, maybe I can injure him there as well, but I started with the same bullshit, to be fair. Like, just couldn't get him down on his important players, and then he started removing the hard tackle storm vermin, and I was like, well, now I just gotta accept maybe just trying to get a draw. So I was yeah. playing towards a draw at that point. Yeah, saying that Sean is saying that you felt like Sean had beeline too hard for the draw. I mean, he's versus you with undead Sean. Yeah, I think I think at that point that he that where he was and where you were defending, I was pretty sure Sean was just going to go for the score that turn. Uh, I felt like, and like I don't think he did anything wrong. Like I don't think you could have defended it much more than what you did. Like, but I just felt like he was always going to roll the dice to score that turn because it was just like it was, it was you know, it was just horrible, wasn't it, for him? So not as horrible as it was for me, of course, because because Ch Chunter escaped with a draw instead of just getting crushed two nil. But <laughs> you know, and it's 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 great to have an out like the two headed cutter there at that moment. You know, like having an out like that and just being able to say like, okay, now I'm just going to roll dice to score a touchdown quickly. Like that's just it just yeah. saves the game a lot in those kind of situations. Yeah, for just, sure. Yeah. Chunter BM'd Shawnee so much, he decided to push the Rat Ogre into scoring range, as well as the Gutter Runner. So, uh, you know, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a really nicely done one turn, wasn't it? Yeah. So you decided against, the, um, against taking the 3D with the Rat Ogre? Yeah, like, if you roll a world animal, like, um, you don't know what happens, you know. Like, I usually use the, the Rat Ogre in a one turn, or only if, like, I'm facing, like, strength 5 or strength 4 on the line of scrimmage. Or if I'm in a situation where I feel like Frenzy could be super useful, um, otherwise you just use it for its guard. Like that's why it's guard. It's it's got guard on there to actually yeah. help out on the line of scrimmage as well when necessary. So you know you gotta you gotta think about that sort of thing. And um, yeah, I was happy to have the two headed gutter. That's why I, I insta about the two headed gutter. I was thinking like, well, maybe he's badly hurt now, but at least we can use him for the one turn. I mean, yeah, but badly hurt. Already... You, I mean, uh, that's obviously instant an apple. But uh, would yeah. you have instantly appled if it was missed next? Is the question. I probably would have taken the fifty-fifty. It, it looked so bad. Like yeah. first off, it looked so bad for me, uh, Jim. Like I had to, I had to roll miracle stuff at that point. I had to, you know, do something. So you have to you have to take the apple at any point, I think. Yeah. So. I th I, th I thought you I thought you would have also just apple anything on him, like you know, miss next, which is the worst one, isn't it? Right, and miss yeah. next is the worst one. Well, actually, it's the same as death. No, it's not. No, death is the worst one. So no, death is the not worst one because the death you would obviously apple because it's giving him an extra guy to foul you with. So you would always yeah. apple the death. So yeah, miss next was still the worst, not because of miss next being a thing in this, because it's rare, it's just because it was fifty fifty. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, the death the death would have been an easier choice to Apple. <laughs> anyway, um, congratulations, yes, congratulations, Shawnee, and commiserations, Chunter. That's totally wrong. It was a draw. Um, <laughs> commiserations, <laughs> England, because they would have much preferred to win. Now it's all in the final game, uh, which is Wolfbark versus Thomas T. If Wolfbark wins that, then. Um, England versus Europe is a draw, and that means England will definitely advance to the uh, playoff stages. If that is a loss or a draw for um, Wolfbark, then England might be out, but might be through. It's going to be very interesting with all the different groups. We won't know until it happens, so there you go. Um, thank you very much, Fimea and Calcium, for doing the commentary. Wonderful, as always. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.